uh, we're ready to go. All right. It is uh, Tuesday, 4 October at 7 p.m. And I'd like to call to order the uh, uh, Village uh, Regular Board of Trustees meeting. Okay, and on the short invocation, uh, oops, wrong. That's not one. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, we know, Lord God, the difference it makes to be a person who serves you. I know you give consideration to those who honor you and who choose to do the right thing. I pray that your people in America would choose you through this election process and that you would pour out your consideration and kindness in response. We pray also that you would lead us in careful consideration to the votes that we cast in the coming days. Roll call. Trustee Head. Here. Nelson. Here. O'Brien Berglund. Here. Pike. Absent. President Wecken. Here. Trustee Zeiss. Here. Zappa. Here. Okay, item two, review and approve minutes from the regular board meeting of 6 September. I'll move approval of the minutes from the regular board meeting of September 6, 2016. Thank you, Colleen. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Mark. Is there any amendments or corrections to the minutes? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Uh, item three is comments from the floor, opportunity for residents to make the board aware of topics, issues, opportunities, either on or not on today's agenda. Is there anybody? Okay. State your name and address, please. Gary Stewart, 503 Wisconsin Street, North Hudson. I just have a few questions. Uh, does anybody know how... How many times the bylaws of the village of North Hudson has been changed? Uh, we cannot answer the questions that aren't on the agenda. You can bring oh, up okay. topics, Stephen, but it, it... I was just wondering, because no. it was changed last year, and a lot of people might not know about it. You might want to look on your computer and take a look. But this is, goes back, winter's coming. It's coming. And... Uh, you know, I talked about the snow plowing ordinance, which every other village and community has that I know of, except us. And uh, the Public's Work Department, according to their meeting minutes, worked on it quite a bit back in August, September, and October. And uh, the motion was carried at the Public Works meeting on October 20th, 2015, and it was sent to the board. I'd like to know, you know, has anything been done in a year, just about a year, to, uh, you know, when they talked about it at the public's work meeting, they talked about it saves a lot of money and the safety of the residents. And, uh, you know, so every place by law has to have two off-street parking places, so there should be no problems with this. So. so Stan, can we, I can I address? Uh, we we can't to really address the topic. Um, if 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 the board made a decision on that after the public works brought it to it, it would be in the minutes from back then. So you'd have to it check was. the minutes. Well, it would have been something oh, would have I happened. I checked them. The okay. very next meeting, it was a congratulatory anniversary for one of the members. Well, then the meeting after that. But at some point, it should have gotten look, back. I okay. Look. So what the board can do with uh, issues that you raise, they cannot discuss them with you tonight they can either move them to committee or just listen to them and um, and then move on to the next item when you're finished so so, so rather than in the form of questions I think in the form of statements might be better because they're not going to be able to answer questions okay they were statements that was brought to the board can he can he email me at my village yeah yeah you could you could have a discussion with one individual board member you that would be fine me? You bet. And I've emailed you some pictures of the current situation that's been going on for close to five years as it is. Yeah, so uh, Ted Head, you email bet. me and I can give you an update on where we're at with it. Okie doke, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Gary. Uh, anybody else? Uh, anything that's on the no, I see everybody else in here is pretty much on the agenda. So item four is application for conveyance of land filed by David Burnley, approval requested. 
Um, Sam, may I move to approve the application for a conveyance of land between the adjoining properties of David Burnley at 811 Riverside <coughs> Drive North and XXX Bluebird Court North? Second. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Colleen. Uh, is there any discussion? This uh, hearing none. Uh, Mr. Burnley? Mr. B well, I mean. Uh, Do you have any comments or? Uh, um, what we're doing is we're just bringing the. You should probably step up the mic, so just just so we know. But what we're doing, what we were doing the last time we were here, was we were looking to convey a five-foot strip along the side down to the down to the right of way down to the water, and found out that that would not work. Uh, we we ran afoul of the statute. And so what we're doing now is we're just simply removing that five-foot strip completely and going back to where the, the original uh, lot lines were uh, when they were established by the previous CSM. So there is no, uh, as it says, and, and if you, and, and I believe it's page one of the proposed uh, map, it says uh, no new lots have been uh, created the purpose of this map is to show reconfiguration of the lots four and five of that certified survey map filed in and it says a five-foot strip of land has been removed so basically that's what it is thank you going back from what we yeah. did last mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. try um, not to come back on it again <laughs> thanks David uh, any further discussion or questions uh, all in favor of uh, uh, the application for conveyance signify saying aye Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David. Yes, I will. <laughs> no, it's. And today is 4 October. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Have a great day. Good <laughs> evening. <laughs> Okay, uh, next item five, 2016-2017 cigarette license for Stars Bar and Grill. Approval requested. Uh, okay. Stan, I'll motion to approve the over-the-counter tobacco sale license for Stars Bar, effective of October 4, 2016 through June 30th, 2017. I'll second. Thank you, Kirk. Thank you, Ted. And uh, is there any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion to approve the uh, tobacco sales for Stars Bar and Grill signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Animus, thank you. Carries. Okay, next uh, is the amended class parent B slash parent class B liquor license for extended premises. Malu Inn Fall Motorcycle Run on 8 October. Approval requested. And may I move approval with the following conditions? One, possession of open containers of alcohol outside of the estab establishment shall remain within Malu Inn parking lot and blo blo blocked off street area for event, <coughs> which is Wisconsin Street North from 3rd Street North to 6th Street North. Two, use of outside area only with specific permission of Village Board for each particular date and event the October 8, 2016 event to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Three, three North Hudson police officers and three St. Croix County deputies to be on duty during the hours of the event at the owner's expense to be billed to the, billed to the owner by the village. Four, owner to provide adequate satellite restroom facilities. Five, Wisconsin Street North from 6th Street North, 3rd Street North to be closed to through traffic from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m with an open corridor for emergency vehicles maintained, surrounding neighbors to be notified in advance by the village. Actual times of detour route are at the discretion of the commanding NHPD officer on scene. Six payment for village services must be paid within 30 days after the event. Thank you, Mark. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Colleen. Is there any discussion? No, hearing none, uh, all in favor of the amended Class B for Malouin Fall Motorcycle Run, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimous. I wish they would have had it last weekend when it was gorgeous outside. 
But uh, anyway, they'll be dressed for it. Okay, number seven, amended you know, class parent B slash parent class B liquor license for extended premises, Village Inn, 8 October 2016, approval requested. Is there a motion? I'll move. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Second? Second. Hey, Colleen, okay, thank you. Uh, any, uh, let's see. Do we need, I'll have to read the conditions, I suppose please. we better read the conditions on that one. One area outside of the building to be completely enclosed with secure fencing to be accessed only from near the main entrance area of the building. Use of alcohol shall remain within the building or fenced-in area. Two, use of outside area only with sp specific permission of the village board for each particular date and event. Three, owner to provide equal amount of adjacent substitute off-street parking while parking lot area is fenced during time of event. Maintain the no parking alley between the Village Inn and Zappa Brothers for emergency vehicle and village public works traffic during the event. Four, owner to be responsible for band slash music volume and outside music to end no later than 10 p.m. Okay, thank you, Mark. Uh, is there any questions? I see Leah's here, so it's yeah, I, I have a question on the going to two thirty a.m. Is that inside? Oh, inside the fenced or inside the no, building fenced the area. Okay, and then how so long? Okay, but it, the, how long will the fenced-in area be in play? Till 2.30? According to this, no. it would be. The, the, only, the only reason, and I'm not trying to be difficult, but a lot of times with the fence, with, with these, we don't often go past 10 o'clock, or that's historically, we haven't gone past 10 o'clock for the well, fenced-in area. We have our outside patio. At that time, we can go right over the inside of the patio. But that's never really been an issue before. As soon I, as the band I, I'm I'm yeah, not no. I, I'm just saying for purposes of this motion, just to be clear, I it's, it's usually we end those amended um, permits about ten o'clock. Typically, that's been the yeah. time frame. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, and we've had well, I mean, like uh, Pepperfest seasons, we had. Uh, you know the the top you know the uh, suggested the front portion of it they'd carry it to 2:30 okay. or whatever yeah i'm not just, I, I just uh, you know just and uh, but yeah when the music goes down it. most everybody's inside and stuff so i mean okay. i think it's uh, and the uh, chief i think uh, okay i mean with their, what you've uh, in the past we any issues uh, i guess just to speak to Mark's point that there have been other um, temporaries that have okay. gone past okay. 10 o'clock, but the music has always been asked to yeah, be stopped no, at 10 o'clock. Um, and, and again, it's they're not exempt from the noise ordinance at that point. So if there are complaints, then we'll go over and talk to the owner and explain that we're, okay. you know, the voices are too loud or something's getting too rowdy. And, and the owners have always been, always been very uh, active and, and helping to, you know, I'm curb not that suggesting issue. any trouble or anything like that. Sure. I was just the ones we've Whatever. seen recently have mm -hmm. been done about 10. So I'd Yeah, it's varied all over the place. Okay, but all right. Yeah. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, uh, all in favor of the extended premises for uh, the Village Inn on 8 October, signal power saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. Okay, number eight. Amended class parent B slash class or parent class B liquor license for extended premises, Cozy Corner, Wisconsin Badger football party on 15 October, uh, 2016. Approval requested. You're gonna recuse yeah, yourself. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So I'll move again. <laughs> Thank you, Bart. Uh -huh. And we'll read the. Uh, with the conditions, number one area outside a building to complete to be completely enclosed with a continuous fence from the building south access doors to the designated area across the lot to the property to the east, causing the extended premise to be continuous and accessed only from within the building via the walkway. Uh, subsection A, a painted permanent walkway designated the continuation of the licensed establishment to the fence property east of the business could replace the fenced walkway. 
This would be consistent with the restriction put on Muds and Suds, now Gov's place for the access to the volleyball courts. Two, use of alcohol shall remain within building or fenced in area per the establishment's liquor license. Three, use of outside area only with specific permission of the village board for requested date and times. Four, owner to provide an equal amount of adjacent substitute off-street parking while parking lot area is fenced during time of event. Five, owner to be responsible for band slash music volume. Six, all outside music to end no later than 10 p.m. Second. Thank you, Colleen. Is there any further discussion? So I have a question. Are there going to be walking lines put out there? Yeah, that's my, I agree, Ted. Are they already out there? In the future of what we're doing about walking lines, right now we have barricades where you can't drive through it on both sides. We've also put up uh, signs for no parking on the other side of our buildings. I'm sorry, signs for no parking so uh, fire escape or fire can go through. But it's right now it's a barricade. Yeah, and actually at, at uh, Govs and all, they have actually painted surface and stuff, so, and that'll be. When we eventually ask for that, then we'll wait for exactly what we need to put that down, but I guess until then, it'll be barricades. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, Ted, uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Tim? Yep, I understand. Everybody good? Okay, all in favor of uh, the extended premise for Cozy Corner for Badger football party on 15 October, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, there we go. Uh, okay, thank you guys. Uh, next item on the agenda is, oh, maybe you should stay for just this one comment that I want to make. Uh, <laughs> the president's comment, uh, well, no, you, you both own establishments where rumors and stuff, you know, come out of, uh, you know, and, and I've been he we've been hearing a rumor that uh, our police department is going away and that we were going to be either merged with Hudson or the county or whatever, or some of them. And they keep getting more specific. And I just wanted everybody to know that we are very happy with our police force in North Hudson. We are adding, or I mean, replacing staff as they you know, go. We're in a budget meeting or budget meetings right now and they are fully funded so far with everything in the budget. So I just want to, I want to thank Mark because he's been uh, he's been uh, with tr training new officers. Uh, it's uh, it's quite a burden on him, but he's doing an exceptional job. We've got good candidates, but I just want you know if you, if anybody says, hey, I heard North Hudson merging with Hudson Police Force, uh, tell them uh, that's not true. I like to tell them some other stuff, but we won't go into that <laughs> one here. But uh, but no, we're very very happy, and I want our officers to also know that we're, you know, 100% with them, and that uh, you know, so we don't have people, uh, you know, looking for other work and stuff like that around the, the county or next door or whatever. But uh, so anytime that you hear that rumor, say no, it's not true. I don't you think know. it's as widespread as you think it is. I haven't heard anything. Well. About yeah, but I, but no, I hear, you know, for different, you know, because people ask questions and it's been different venues and I've heard it up at the county uh, courthouse and stuff, people were talking about it. So, I mean, it's just something that, uh, you know, I just like to, you know, hey, no, we're happy with our police department and support them. It, okay. I did, Stan, I did a study probably four years ago mm -hmm. on the cost basis of merging. If any, I could probably find it somewhere if somebody... If no, we had to. Yeah, yeah, we we actually looked into this about four years ago. Back in '05, you did 38 percent of North Hudson's budget went towards the police force. In '05, the last time they reconsidered this, yeah, I well, wondered how much it is this year. That's according to the minutes. Of the well, that's. <laughs> I think most of the departments are pretty even. I mean, as far Causes. as. But we have, but no, I mean, uh, well, the, and the numbers will be public information. Yeah. And there's, there's no cost savings. Yeah. 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 Okay. I just wanted to, you know, that rumor, uh, that's in all my comments, Gloria. It does happen, Mark. You can come up, I'll give you a job. <laughs> 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 nice. Thank you. Oh, have a great night. Friends. Yeah. Well, with that, I have no comments. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Melissa. 
election will be held on Tuesday, November 8th. If you are not registered to vote, are new to the village, or have moved within the village, you will need to complete a voter, voter registration application and provide proof of residency. Please do this prior to election day to avoid long lines. Additional election and registration information, as well as a sample ballot for the November election, can be found on the village website. In-person voting for North Hudson residents will begin on Monday, October 17th during regular business hours and will end on the Friday before Election Day. And then please remember to bring your photo ID to vote a ballot. Okay, thank you, Melissa. Uh, anything else? Okay, uh, item 10 is Plan Commission and they did not meet. Uh, item 11, uh, is uh, personnel and finance committee recommendations. Uh, first one is claims and approval requested. Move to approve the October 2016 non recurring claims of $51,251.87. Thank you, Colleen. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Mark. Uh, is there any discussion? Hearing none, uh, it's a spending issue, so uh, we'll start with roll call vote. Kirk? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. 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 Thank you all. Item C, revised uh, Village of North Hudson org chart, approval requested. Move uh, we have B, Stan. We have huh? this. Word past B. Oh, Bomar. Sorry about that. I'm checking them off faster than I'm reading them. Uh, okay. Item B is 2017-2018 uh, assessor contract, Bomar appraisals, approval requested. I'll move approval, Stan. Thank you, Mark. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Colleen. Uh, any discussion? Well, just for the board and uh, public, uh, it's a contract we renew every two years, and uh, they've done a very good job so far with us. And uh, there's just a slight increase on uh, the second year, so uh, and it is a contract for spending. So, Tim. Yes. 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 Thank you. Now we'll go to revised Village of North Hudson org chart approval requested. I'll move approval, Stan. Thank you, Mark. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Colleen. Any questions or comments on the org chart? Hearing none, all in favor of the change or revised org chart signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Uh, next is. Uh, we have, I'm gonna combine these uh, items, D, E, and F are uh, the revised uh, job descriptions for the administrator, the village clerk, and the village treasurer. Uh, if uh, any questions, or could I have a motion to approve? Did you want all three in the motion? That and the deputy treasurer. And the deputy treasurer clerk also, and you know, all four of those into one. Is, um, is I'll, I'll move. Thank you, Mark. Second. Is, is there a second, Colleen? Okay, thank you. Uh, any questions or comments on these? There was several changes, just minor changes, because we're kind of, you know, if uh, Gloria does make good under threat to retire, <laughs> <laughs> which we, you know, we'll get into that one later, we sure sorely missed, but, uh, uh, and it's just com combining the different job uh, duties and stuff, so a little more clarity. Uh, so, any questions? Hearing none, all in favor of the revised descriptions signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Uh, okay. And then item H is a handicap ramp off the north end door of the village hall. Is there Stan, I'll move up to approve a uh, temporary wooden step to be constructed by the uh, Public Works Department to um, um, create a sa safe step off the uh, north end door of the village hall. Second. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Colleen. One, one clarification. Is it a concrete or wooden? Wooden or concrete? Well, the original... Combination of... The original in, uh, in uh, finance was, uh, was concrete, okay. what you see in your packets, okay. but... Uh, the question was, you know, can can you know, with the weather being pretty important on concrete work and stuff, uh, and uh, you know, the price tag, uh, we're going to change yeah, the. We uh, thought we'd try the steps. this step or this step. 
do it this step to a step process, yeah. see how it works, because we do have handicap access off the front of the building. Right. This will make the back door usable for people to get in and out for what we anticipate to be a busy, busy election this November. So, yeah, mm -hmm. to get by and see how it works before we put 5,000 bucks into a, a ramp. Yeah. Thank you. No, good question. And yeah, we uh, had a lengthy discussion in finance on that, and uh, it, uh, you know, we think we can uh, take care of it for a lot less right now and make sure that we've got access both directions for folks to come and go as they vote. Because we had, I don't know the exact number, but we had, you know, I think we were close to 90% uh, voter uh, participation in the, in the last presidential election. So that way, you know, that's kudos to the, uh, to the citizens in the village. I mean, uh, most places around the country, you'll see the numbers and it's ne you know, usually not that high. So uh, we thank our, our citizens for being involved in uh, the election process. Uh, item I is authorization to hire one full-time public works employee. Oh, we didn't vote. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you, Mark. Uh, okay. Handicap ramp. All in favor? Oh. Yeah. Steps. Yeah, we're That's doing fine. it internal. Uh, all opposed? Hearing none. Motion passes. Keep jumping ahead. Um, okay. Now authorization to hire one full-time public works employee. I'll move approval, Stan. Thank you, Mark. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Colleen. Uh, is there questions, uh, comments, discussion? We are, we are one employee short, so uh, uh, hearing no discussion, all in favor of uh, authorizing to hire a full-time public works employee, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Item 12, Public Works Committee recommendations. Chair update, uh, Chair Pike is not here. Ted, you're gonna... Fill in for him, yep. Okay, so, well. uh, Stan, we did meet and we have three suggested motions. So, um, the first one would move to recommend that the village fix the one street light in the phase one of the Ridges subdivision along 10th Street at a cost not to exceed $450. Thank you, Ted. I'll second. A second. Kurt, thank you. Is there any discussion? Okay, hearing none. Uh, it's a spending item. Uh, Kurt? Yes. 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 Thank you. Stan, the uh, second motion is moved to have the village sign the state municipal agreement for the Wisconsin Street North project. And I guess I um, would ask if you want to get up and give a little bit of info on it. So. I'm not sure if everybody's aware of what we're signing. So basically, this is state uh, municipal agreement, kind of locks you into the project. Um, the village applied for some design and construction dollars back in 2012, and they were awarded those dollars. Um, roughly, it's about $315,000 um, that would be federally funded. Total project costs is around $585,000, so it's roughly 55% of the total cost would be picked up by the federal funds. Um, just the, uh, there's what they consider participating and non-participating. Non-participating is the sewer and water portion of it. Um, that is 100% village shared. Um, and then the other items participating is like the uh, curb and gutter, Sidewalk, storm sewer, asphalt. Um, that's where 80% is picked up by the federal funds and 20% is local shares. So. And what's the deadline to sign? They would like 30 to 60 days to have this signed. So just because it's such a long process to go through, um, you know, to go through the design portion of it, you know, there's a lot of reports, a lot of red tape stuff that you have to do. Um, realistically, you wouldn't be doing construction probably for two, three years out. <coughs> so, it would take the two, three years to get that type of funding. You're saying, or it just to go through the design portion okay. of it Thank before you. you actually put it out for publicly bids. Bids and all that. Yep. yep. And it actually will be a <coughs> state letting gets 
you know, the DOT will actually let, let the project yeah. out. So. If we don't sign, the money goes away. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it goes back into the pot of money, and then it gets distributed out on the next cycle. Yep. So somebody else will, will get the funds. Is there a need for it? Yep. A lot of it that's, you know, as part of the project that's driving the, you know, that section of roadway is the underground utilities in that area. Is it all the rentals down on the end of the block there? Nope, it's, the sewer is pretty old. I mean, we've done some televising. Um, it's concrete pipe. It's got a lot of cracks. Um, it's deteriorated. Um, some of the joints are offset. And, you know, it's fairly old. And the water main is, you know, about that same age period, too. So that's a lot of it what's driving the, the whole project. So. And I'm sorry if you said this, but it, the recycle on an annual basis, we can apply for it again? Uh, it's, it's not every year. It's... I think it's every four years that program comes out. So, thank you. Yeah. The uh, the portion what they're covering is the surface portion of it, Gary. The utilities, the uh, sewer and water, the villages. It's going to be like a regular project. Yeah. This grant covers the surface work, mm -hmm. and and it does include the storm sewer. Yes. Which I I guess the surface work. Yeah. Now in in. As far as full force um, disclosure is that this project is a little more expensive because it's this kind of project. The yep. review process is expensive. Um, there's a cost to that. And it's not a project dreamed up just to take advantage of a grant. Right. It's, it's <laughs> appealing, you know, we don't do that. I, I haven't seen it done. Um, yeah. But it's a way, to, but after the math was done with the grant, and with the restrictions of it, um, we it's uh, we'll spend less money. Yep. But there's also the state's going to require some different things that we hope we get an exception from. And according to the engineer, there's a good chance we will. The curb and gutter is pretty in good condition on both sides of the road, so are the sidewalks. That side of the 35 has, for some reason, is the only sidewalks just about in all the north huts and the oldest community down there. The rest of it, you know, you got a lot wider streets, but no sidewalks or nothing. Well, by the time you're, if you're going to, I'm not going to discuss the intricacy of yeah. the storm sewer, but by the time you, if you're going to put in new storm pipe, you might as well put in, you're going to have to have new inlets, and you might as well just, the curb will be just part of the deal, I guess. Well, Typically, when you do a road, um, you should do it all. Now, I remember we didn't. We did sewer and water, and uh, what the heck? Oh, we paved Monroe Street one time, and I think it was in five years we had to redo the sewer and water. It was a mistake. You know, you try to do both. Well, I'm just saying. Sometimes, you, even if stuff may appear to be good, to save 50 feet of curb and gutter <coughs> or even 100 feet doesn't work out in the end. Um, but anyway, the, it, um, that's my interpretation of what this thing was about. Yep. Like close. Yep. You're right okay. on the nail. Thank you, Mark. And, and uh, Kevin, any other questions for Kevin? Oh, thank you. Okay. Right, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, before I go on, we better vote on that. And that's, uh, that's probably contract and money, so we should roll call. Probably. Uh, yeah, we did read the motion, right? There was a motion. Yes, read? Okay. it was read. I don't think it was. I don't think he motioned it, and I don't think we seconded it. No, I don't think there was. I, think Dude, it was I thought he read it. it has no, a motion. I read it. I'll I don't know if there was a second. There wasn't a second. I'll second. I thought Kirk can read it. Kirk, yeah, Kirk seconded it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He just did now. Just now. Oh, just okay. before you. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> he yeah, beat I, you too. I thought Ted, when he read it, was a motion. Holy crap. <laughs> Robert's just mad at us now. Uh, okay, so uh, Tim. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Thank you. Uh, all right. Uh, next is the five-year capital improvement so plan. Uh, it, we actually have one more. Oh, okay. You got um, so I would move uh, to have the uh, tri-state pump control perform uh, lift station repair okay. at a cost not to exceed three thousand eight hundred and eighty five dollars and twenty two cents with the cost coming out of the 2001 sanitary sewer maintenance fund thank you Ted is there a second second and, and this is the East Bank lift station thank you Kirk and this is failing I believe and uh, 
it must be repaired. This lift yeah. station is pretty important for moving stuff along to our friends to the south. Uh, and uh, that's the spending. Any further discussion? Is that paid for by the homeowners or by the village that benefit from that lift station? The lift station is part of uh, the, the sewer, of the sewer system. So that's, that's us, and we have a fund for fixing breakdowns and stuff like that, which the money will come out of that, so it's already kind of budgeted. I was surprised they got East Bank in down there when they did. That's uh, yeah. That, that's well before my time. Uh, okay, Kirk. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. And Ted, anything that's else it. you want to do there with action? We have a five-year capital plan. Oh, five-year capital. Yeah, we had that on the finance committee. That was ahead of that last one, Ted. So is there a? Uh, I'll move uh, approval of the five-year capital yeah. plan. Second. Thank you, Kirk. Uh, any questions or comments? One thing that was discussed in finance is this is a plan that we, you know, for major projects. Uh, it does not lock any future boards or anything else into doing the projects. It's just a commit, you know, commitment to that we, hey, we have a plan and this is what we'd like to do. Uh, all in favor of the five-year improvement uh, plan signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. And uh, there is in my agenda says public works crew leader crew foreman. foreman. So yes, we do have a uh, I guess a motion to uh, I gotta read through this stand. My apologies. So is this the a full-time position or direct supervision of the public works and the job description I can't recall if it's on there quite yeah so I guess this is just a uh, move to have the full-time job description approved and then to hire the position yeah. is there a second second thank you Kirk uh, any further discussion uh, all in favor of the Crew leader form and position approval signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right, Stan, I think I'm done. I, think you, that, I, ran <laughs> out of, I ran out of letters, so I'm sure. I think you got her. Uh, okay, Public Safety Committee Chair Update. Mark? Uh, I think we have one action item, the interagency agreement between the School District of Hudson and the North Hudson Police Department. Um, if I might, I'll let the Chief... Uh, tell you about that. I'll be brief. Um, the school district has proposed an, an agreement between, um, they have separate agreements that they're proposing to the Hudson Police Department as well as the St. Croix County Sheriff's Department, but really um, it's, it's to allow for some more free-flowing conversation or, or exchange of information on um, situations where we may need information because of a threat to a school property or because of some um, activity that's going on where at a lot of times the the information that the school district holds that might be helpful for an investigation is is held as as private or there has to be an agreement in place in order to share that information so that's what this uh this agreement starts with it also does provide for the flow backwards as well for the school district to contact the police department if the in the event that an um, a juvenile is arrested or charged with certain things that they can gather information from the police department. It does not uh, circumvent any laws, uh, so we're not changing the, the statutes. It just basically allows for uh, two points of contact between the police department and the school district to talk freely about things that in the past have taken longer than if it's an emergency situation, then we need it to happen quicker uh, to make sure that we save lives or protect property, those types of things. It does act ask for for uh, the police department to put some uh, policies into place. So once it is, uh, if it is approved, uh, we'll go ahead and put those those policies into place. And it basically just directs if an officer has information that's important, they go through a certain contact at the school district and not, you know, call and talk to the secretary about the information. But it's a, a, a designated uh, person both ways. Okay. Uh, may questions? I move to approve the interagency agreement between the school district of Hudson? and the North Hudson Police Department. I'll second. Thank you. 
Uh, is there any further discussion or questions for the chief? Hearing none, uh, all in favor of the uh, agreement between the school district of Hudson and North Hudson Police Department signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Thank you. Item 14 is public welfare. I don't believe they met. We did not meet. And item 15 is the uh, park board committee recommendations. Uh, we did meet, but we have nothing to recommend this month. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Let's see, the board may convene into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin statute 19.85, uh, parent one, parent lowercase g, for the purpose of conferring with legal counsel for the village of North Hudson who is rendering oral or written advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the body with respect to litigation in which it is or likely to become involved in regarding 712 Pine Street North. What says? You're reading an old version. Oh, I'm old, really? Yep. That's what happens when it's All right, what do we got? <coughs> this is about negotiating the, the, the purchase of a public property, not okay. about uh, oh. litigation strategy. We're not in any litigation. Okay, well, the... the I've got yeah I've I've got the original doc that we changed apparently since uh, I approved the agenda so which my fault the new one the 1985 one e is the one on the internet uh, one e this is okay. the right one all right yeah, all right so Stan you got to read that over again <coughs> I mean that's a three I think that three strikes I'm out I think that's <laughs> you're doing all right <laughs> you're doing fine but uh, <laughs> the board may convene into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin statute. 19.85 parent 1 parent E for the purpose of deliberating and negotiating the purchase of purchasing of public properties the investing of public funds or conducting <coughs> other specified public business whenever competitive <coughs> or bargaining reasons require a closed session to consider the purchase of a tax deed property at 712 Pine Street North from St. Croix County uh, Terry, do we? So then we need a motion and a second and a roll call vote if we're going to go into closed session. And we need that to discuss the price or? Um, that would be the goal, yeah. Uh, you know, you don't necessarily need, you never have to go into closed session. It's right. always up to you guys whether right. to go into closed session. So if you feel like there are some topics that need to be aired that are appropriate to talk in, about in closed session, I'll then move, vote I'll, yes. I'll move to go into closed session. I'll second. Okay, and a roll call vote. Uh, Tim? Yes. 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 <coughs> okay, we are now in closed session. And.